Hi Dixons, I'm Shireen Wheeler, Head of Art and Design at our wonderful new free school, Dixons Trinity Chapel Town, and previously Head of Art and Design at the original Dixons Trinity Academy in Bradford. Hi, I'm Jenny Thompson, Executive Principal here at Dixons Academies Trust, and I am very happy to be spending my morning with Shireen again. Today's little episode follows on from Shirley's introductory thinking on self-determination theory, which is so central across our trust. And today we're trying to start to map that to the thinking around how that is the lived experience in our schools. And we're going to look at how this thinking has been shared in a group of our schools, particularly here at Chapel Town and back in Bradford. So at Trinity, we live by the three core values of hard work, trust and fairness, which pervade everything that we do. To guarantee that these values are lived and underpin our behaviour, we're committed to developing our students' intrinsic motivation. And we do that through mastery, autonomy and purpose, which is outlined um, by Dan Pink in the work Drive. If you'd like a fantastic watchable summary of Pink's really revolutionary research on this, the RSA have a really great 10 minute clip on YouTube that we always direct people towards. While the values really safeguard our culture and expectations, for us, we believe it's the drivers that motivate us all to meet these high expectations with determination and rigour over time. In essence, the drivers are what get us up in the morning. They are the fuel to our fire. Without them, we would not have the wherewithal to meet the demands set by our core values. So let me try and explain. In mastery, we seek to achieve great things, refining our practice and investing in what matters. By hanging this driver around the three core values, we ensure that we focus on the right things and seek mastery in an environment aligned to a deep rooted set of principles. For example, upholding the value of trust with authenticity must be underpinned by a desire to see autonomy develop in all corners of the academy. With autonomy comes an inherent trust and where there is genuine trust, there exists the sovereignty of autonomy. So you can see the relationship. At Trinity, we believe core values can simply not live within a vacuum and just not be by themselves. The driver of purpose is integral to ensuring that there is a reason for doing what we do. Our individual and collective purpose clarifies what we are working towards and what each and all will take from their academy experience. And we really see this enacted in our academy sentence. The academy ensured that all students succeeded at university, thrived in the top job and had a great life. The retrospective nature of our sentence obligates us to strive towards a successful future. As the schools have developed and matured, so have the drivers become increasingly the imperatives for understanding and working within the remit of our core values. They are, in a sense, the slow burners. Mastery is the urge to get better at things that matter made manifest through our commitment to practice. We practice key techniques collectively as a staff, twice every week and during morning meetings, and engineer more tailored practice during one-to-one -one coaching sessions. Autonomy is the drive to direct our own lives. At Trinity, 100% of Year 7 and Year 8 students present an exhibition of their stretch project at the end of each assessment cycle. In addition to the more traditional um, curriculum, stretch projects allow students to explore an area of interest within a given theme. We aim to develop students' autonomy and grow their love of learning. Purpose is the drive to connect to a cause larger than ourselves. Those who have visited the school have recognised that our structures liberate teachers to teach and students to learn. Because students know why we do things, they buy into them. And how do you feel we keep that motivation over time? To keep motivation at last, we focus on two important questions. First, we ask a big question to orient our life towards greater purpose. What's my sentence? In one sentence, we state what lasting impression we want to leave on the world. Then we keep asking a small question for day-to-day -day motivation. Was I better today than yesterday? With these drivers to push us forward, our core values permeate all that we do to realise our mission, our academy sentence, giving us direction with absolute clarity. In effect, the drivers are our quality assurance. Okay, and I know this is a hard question, <laughs> but could you break down the laws of mastery for us? Because to me, 
really involving this, uh, the children in this thinking has been key to helping them be intrinsically motivated and able to direct their own learning. Mm. So the three laws of mastery are pain. Learning things is hard. We are honest with our children about this. Sometimes it's a bit of a drudge. If you want to have the expressive freedom of Picasso, you first need to develop the precision of formalism. Or if you want to be an exceptional musician, that means years and years of practice of scales. Or for the thrill of acting in a play, you have many, many hours of line learning. <laughs> Flow. We all know and feel this across our subject areas, but this is a very real thing in the world of art and design. It's that amazing feeling when you are so absorbed in your work that time just disappears and you only notice your ache in your hand from holding your pencil so tightly when you stop. The idea of flow is hugely desirable, feeling for our children and they relish in sharing when they experience it. And growth. Again, this is something we talk openly to about our children. The idea that although we are striving to climb our mountains, those mountains are often temporal or relative to our skill set and experience at the moment. For example, for example, mastering tables through Key Stage 1 is an exceptional summit, but it is also a way of opening access to new understanding. Okay, this is what Emma, our head of school at Dixon's Trinity in Bradford, always calls the asymptote. She's a mathematician. Um, that growth is desirable pre precisely because it always mm. slightly evades. We never reach where we thought we wanted to be because as soon as we do, we are also immediately shown the opportunities that arise anew. As teachers, these feelings are really familiar. We see our children open to new beliefs in their potential. It is a very exciting mm. thing. So thank you very much for our little exploration into <laughs> the drivers. Um, I think we both accept that yeah. probably we need to do a whole video on mastery, a whole video on autonomy, and a whole video on purpose. Um, but we hope that that's been useful for you today. Thank you, Shireen. Thank you.